I'm Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. Today we're going to be using the gel plate to print onto this canvas tote bag and create this beautiful, colourful, summery design using acrylic paint and some Art Foamies stamps. It's really simple to do and very effective. I'm going to clear these out of the way and I'll be back to show you how it's done. As always, I'll begin with a quick rundown of the products I'm using today. First of all, I'm going to be stamping onto a canvas bag and this canvas tote bag, just bought this in a craft store, you can pick them up online, it's, you know, the, if maybe you've got a plain cotton or canvas bag that you already that you want to decorate, if not, plenty of places where you can buy these, um, just have a little look around, just say most craft stores, even your sort of big, just general chain stores should have that type of thing available for you. I'm using my four inch circular plate today. This is my Jelly Arts gel printing plate. Um, just because I like to be able to use this almost as a stamp. So I've put it onto a clear acrylic stamping block. If you don't have a stamping block, you could use maybe you've got a piece of plastic, maybe you've got a plastic lid off a storage tub or something. You just want something that's flat that it will cling to so that you can pick it up and then use it to, to stamp down onto the fabric. I find that easier than lifting the fabric up and putting it down. I can see exactly where I'm placing it and that's why I tend to use this technique when printing onto fabric. I've got a brayer. This is just a small two inch um, red rubber brayer. Just because I'm using a smaller plate, I just, I've picked up the smaller size brayer that I own. I'm using some acrylic paints today. It's all the Deco Art Americana brand again. I've chosen three nice bright colours here, cadmium yellow, sea breeze and carousel pink. I've also got black, I've also got white. Now one thing you can do when stamping, when uh, printing onto fabric, you can use fabric paints if you have them and therefore they will be washable and they stay a little bit more flexible once dry so less prone to cracking or you can mix just normal acrylic paints such as these with a fabric painting medium now this this one again is a deco art americana brand fabric painting medium but there are there are other brands available and the instructions for this one is that you mix the paint with the medium in a ratio of two parts paint one part medium and then once the paint is dry you can heat set it um, with an iron as you would a, a fabric paint now you don't have to mix it with the medium um, again that makes it more slightly flexible when dry it makes it washable when dry now today i'm not actually going to bother there's no way that i'm going to want to have to wash this bag and from experience in the past, um, the acrylic paints just by themselves would be perfectly fine for this project. Obviously, if you were printing onto a t-shirt or something, or a cushion cover or pillowcase, that type of thing that would more likely need to be washed regularly, definitely mix your regular acrylics with a fabric painting medium. But as I say, today I'm not bothering. I've done um, videos in the past where I have mixed it with the medium. I've done videos where I've used a specific fabric paint as well. So just showing you today that normal acrylic paint on its own will work on this type of product that doesn't need to be washed. I'm using my Art Foamies stamps again. You may have seen me a few weeks ago using this set of circular designs. Um, this set is called microcosms and it is by the artist kp and it's an art foamies stamp set i've also got today this lovely um sort of retro leaf design which is called stem and this is by designer kat kerr and i've also got this uh, little square design and this one is building blocks by donna downey all the art foamies brand as I mentioned in my previous video, if you're here in the UK, you can purchase these through Funky Fossil. I'll leave the link to their website down below. Um, they've had a restock since last time. I know a lot of people, after watching my last video, went and took a, lot, um, took a look over there and a lot of designs sold out pretty quickly. They have since had another restock, so do pop back again if there was something that you noticed last time that you wanted and you missed out. Fingers crossed it'll be back in stock again for you now. 
But I do know that Sarah over there is is planning to keep restocking, you know, while these are really popular. So if it is that you, you do miss out on something, do check back there regularly. Obviously, if you're in the US or another country, in the US you can order direct from Art Foamies. And if you're in another country, please do sort of have a look online to see if you've got a local su um, supplier in your own country. Other than that, I have some cardboard here that I'm going to use to mask off an area on my tote bag. I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape to hold that in place. And then I have the basics such as some water in a spray bottle and paper towel for cleaning my plate. I have some spare um, paper off to the side that I just use to, to roll excess paint off my brayer. But I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do is clear myself a little bit of space. I'm hoping to be able to obviously keep the gel plate in view as well as the tote bag. And as I said, I want to, first of all, I want to mask off a border because I want to do a colourful border using some of these um, stamps. And then I want to stamp this lovely um, stem on top of that so I'm going to begin by building up a nice sort of colourful border within this masked off area. And to do that, I'm going to put some paint on my plate. Take one of the stamps, I'm going to use this spiral, create a pattern on my plate and then stamp onto my tote bag. And I'm going to make sure that I sort of stamp over the edges of this border because I want this to be um, full of colour right up to the edges. I can then take this stamp and transfer a little of the paint that's on there. And I'm just going to continue adding paint to my plate. taking one of the art foamy stamps, creating a pattern and transferring the paint onto my tote bag. The smaller design I can stamp it multiple times to fill the area better stamp it down take my stamp again transfer some paint off there Every so often I'm just going to clean the excess paint off my plate. I don't mind some of the colours transferring. For example, in this yellow we had a little bit of pink. We've got a bit of yellow left in this turquoise. But after a while you might find it starting to build up a bit, in which case just do feel free to just clean off the plate and start with a clean plate again. I'm just going to keep going until I've pretty much filled this area with colour.
my finished border looking very colourful and tropical and you could leave that as it is if you wanted to really nicely just sort of decorated uh, tote but as I say I want to use this stem stamp as well just to add some sort of more bold silhouettes over the top so I'm just going to apply some black paint to the stamp just going to use my brayer always a little tricky to see if I've got complete coverage with black with the stamps being black as well so I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty on there and press down nice and firmly I have let this border dry you can always give it a quick blast with a heat tool if you want to speed up the drying process but as with all gel printing projects um, you're using quite thin layers of paint so they tend to dry pretty quickly if the fabric that you're using is quite thin and lightweight put a piece of card inside so that it doesn't seep through to the other side this is quite a heavy canvas so uh, it should be absolutely fine I just love that really nice sort of retro design And there we have it really like that I love the contrast of that black against those nice bright colors in the background and it's just a sort of fun retro design and I think quite on trend at the moment I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that it showed you how much fun it is to use your gel plate on fabric to create these really nice sort of bold colorful designs works perfectly with these art foamy stamps I feel that they were really made for stamping on fabric so as always if you enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you are in the UK and looking to purchase art foamy stamps do take a look at the funky fossil website using the link below um, Sarah's restocking quite regularly there as they're really popular so do keep checking back to see if she's got more designs available but for now that's all I'll see you again soon bye <music>